both the oldest living Nobel laureate and the only one to live to see their 100th birthday, Nina Luai Montalcini is nothing short of a role model. Montalcini was born on April 22, 1909, in Turin, Italy, to a wealthy Jewish family. Despite her father being an electrical engineer and a mathematician, science was not Rita's first aspiration. In fact, when she was a teenager, she seriously considered being a writer. Sadly, her father didn't really want her daughters to go to university and get a proper education because he thought it would disrupt their lives as wives and mothers. Lua Montalcini set her mind to attending University of Turin Medical School after seeing an old family friend die of stomach cancer. Her teacher in the university, Giuseppe Luai, introduced her to the nervous system, which would become her main area of studies. She went on to work as an assistant for Giuseppe Luai after she graduated in 1936 with an MD. Her academic career came to an unfortunate halt in 1939 when Mussolini introduced laws barring Jews from academic and professional careers. Whilst World War II was going on, Montaltini Luai continued to conduct experiments in her home lab. Due to the ongoing of the world at the time, Rita's first lab was in her bedroom. In 1943, when Germany invaded Italy, her and her family fled to Florence where she set up another lab for herself. During this time, she also volunteered for the Allied Health Services. After the Luai Montalcini family came back to Turin in 1945. Just a, just a year later, in 1946, Rita accepted an invitation to work with Victor Hamburger in the Washington University located in St. Louis, Missouri. Even though initially she was invited for just one semester, after seeing the results of her home experiments, which they repeated, Hamburger decided, decided on offering her a research associate position. Rita spent 30 years of her life in St. Louis. It was also there in 1952 when she did her most important work, and I quote, Isolating the nerve growth factor from observations of certain cancerous tissues that cause extremely rapid growth of nerve cells by transfer transferring pieces of tumors to chick chicken embryos. Montalcini established a mass of cells that was full of, full of nerve, nerve fibers. This discovery, discovery of nerves growing everywhere, everywhere like a halo around, around the tumor cells was surprising. Montalcini described this like rivulets of water flowing steadily over a bed of stones. The nerve growth produced by the tumor was un unlike anything she had seen before. The nerves took over areas that would become other tissues and even entered veins in the embryo. But nerves did not grow into the arteries, which would flow from embryo back to the tumor. This suggested to Montalcini that the tumor itself was releasing a substance that was st stimulating the growth of nerves. End of quote. This research was done alongside biochemist Stanley Cohen. Him and Rita later went, went on to win the 1986 Nobel Prize for Medicine for their extraordinary work. Montaltini was finally made an official professor in 1958, and in 1962 she opened her Safi Research Center in Rome, which led her to divide her time between Italy and the, the US. From 1961 until 1969, she directed the Research Center of Neurobiology of the CNR, the Center of Neurobiological Research, and also from 1969 to 1978, the Laboratory of Cellular Biology. She received the National Medal of Science, the highest American scientific honor, which was one of the many prizes and honors that the latter part of her life consisted of. But perhaps, the most important thing to happen to her at the time was that the Italian Prime Minister at the time, Carlo Esilio Ciampi, appointed Levi Montalcini Senator for, her li Senator for Life for her outstanding contributions to science. As one of the last things in her lifetime, Levi Montalcini founded the European Brain Se Research Institute in 2002 and served as, as its president for the rest of her days. Rita Luai Montalcini may have died on December 30th, 2012, but her timeless work will carry on and she will continue to be an inspiration for so many young girls.